Hey, um, this is a follow-up to my Mormon No More video. I got a phone call on Saturday the 20th telling uh, from my father um, asking me what my plans for the new year, for Christmas were going to be. And generally in the past I would go over to my parents place on Christmas Eve and I would uh, spend the night, we would get up in the morning, have a Christmas breakfast, and uh, we would then uh, open presents, you know, do the whole thing, and I, I'd, I'd still been doing this since I had stopped going to church, and even in the last couple of years since I officially came out as an atheist, but I had never really came out to my parents. Well, as those of you who watched the video about being a Mormon no more, read my blog entry, um, you know, that I, I could not support what the Mormon Church did in California, and I still don't support it. I still stand behind what I did, which was to send an official resignation letter to the Mormon Church's member records and take myself off their rolls, renounce any and all gospel blessings, whatever. I had a couple of comments from my sisters and that was about it. And I thought that was it. I just wound up checking an email inbox that I never check. And it turns out the same night that I I, I made that video, my, my mother My, my mother had uh, emailed me I, I should have seen this coming I'm gonna read that email I wish you knew where you are going Nathan but when you find out it is not as great as you expected please come back Yes, we know. Your father cries. But please don't respond. We just want to spend a wonderful Christmas with our baby boy and love you. And she says, out in the desert they wander, hungry and helpless and cold. Out to the rescue we hasten, bringing them back to the fold. And she mentions a health issue that she dealt with when I was a baby. And that she wishes she could beat up my enemies if only she were strong enough. I read this letter. And I stopped on the, your father cries. And that hurt. One might think that my mother is just trying to tell me that my father is feeling shame over what he did. But this is really about Hacking fear that this evil organization has buried into their 
my father is crying because he thinks I'm going to some place that they will never see me ever again. This is this is a church that believes in eternal life after death. I know so many of them do. But also that families can be together forever. And I guess according to the I, I can't bring myself to even talk to my parents about this. Because it's going to get me going worse than I am right now. But I am certain that it's this fracking feeling that I'm going to be dead to them. And they're mourning me. I never wanted to cause my dad pain like this. But I did. I can't go back on what I said. And I hope that if I had known how this would... I, I guess I should have known, but if... I, I hope that if I had known how this would turn out, that I would have the wherewithal to stick and do what I did again. Because though I am not gay, I believe that these people have every right, every right to get married, to be happy, to live their lives. And I am sorry, Mom and Dad. I am sorry that your religion has made you feel this way about me. I will I'm not sorry about what I did. I just wish that you could open your eyes. Anyways. Thank you to all my friends who gave me such loving support. I swear I'm going to try and do a happy video next time. I just... I just... I, I really just wish... That... This fracking religion... This fracking faith... didn't do this to people. See, this is what your God does. It drives wedges between people, between families. It promotes hatred. It promotes evil. Because there is no way you can tell me that there's any sort of loving God that would deliberately keep people away from their family members just for not supporting him. This God is an asshole. He's an asshole to let shit like this happen to people. And I am my fucking crying. I'm a grown man and I'm fucking crying because my parents are hurt because of your fucking religion. This is a big damn lie.
Once again, I urge any other Mormons out there, if you plan on denouncing what they did in California, don't stop. The only way this world is going to get any better is if people stand up for what's right. Thanks. Thanks for listening.